What is up, you guys? This is your boy. Tr oh my god. What is up, you guys? Your boy Trainer Power here with another review. Review of the. It's very awesome. Let's see. The review of the Jazzwares Season 5 Series Away Whatever Grim Snarl Battle Feature Figure. This figure looks amazing. I do have a paint splash right here. We'll get to that when we get to that. You see the box, see Battle Feature Figure. You see Grim Snarl Battle Ready. You see Grim Snarl right here. Grim Snarl Deluxe Action Pokeball Pikachu Pokemon. On the back, you see the figures that we have reviewed. If you don't focus, focus! You see Scorba, oh, not Scorba, the Cinderace that I reviewed last. Blastoise and YouTube, we reviewed them in the past. We see Grimstar skill for battle. You see the logo. You see Pikachu, battle feature figures, Pokemon, and you see all the rest of the crap nobody cares about. Let's get this figure open. You see this figure awesome. Get that away. Get that away. Grimstar. What the Jesus. Let's look at the pamphlet because that's what we have to do. James, slow down. As you can see, we have all the figures that we have in the set. I'm reading most of these. I might have to do these separate, but you know what? It was what it is. We're, I have these. I can't review them anymore. Anyway, let's look at Grimstall. You see Grimstall right here. You see the face got a little bit black. Oh, Grimstall is mostly made of salt and rubber. Why is he got a tiny right here on the eyeball? But as you can see, his face. Yeah, his face, he has a little paint splash right here. I'll get that off if I have to pull it off. See his face right here. See the arm right here with the little green thing in there, in there, the little hands. See the chest with the red paint, the green paint. Move. See the feet, the thick thighs with the green feet. Green peg, get the number over there. On the back, this is stuff is made of pliable rubber, so don't think that's gonna be getting in the way of anything. And this is the same material right here on the top, the ears too. Articulation for this guy, he has a swivel on his arm and he bends right there, so it's pretty good. It's just, it's just very loose. And right here on this arm is like a swivel hinge, so it's like, it goes all the way around and goes up and down. The hand has no articulation, but as you can see for height comparison, you see him next to me. If you do not focus, yeah, he's very small. I don't know if he's very supposed to be small, but he's very small. But let's get some more size comparisons, shall we? Let's get him next to the other figure in the set, which is Cinderace. Cinderace is almost the size of me, so you know, at this point he's very small, and I'm guessing his Pokemon in the game and the, the thing is very small. So we're gonna get into that. But anyway, let's do a couple more size comparisons. We have Chimchar. My favorite star of all time, I and mean, they're about the same height. That is terrible, because Chimchar is probably like a good two feet tall. But anyway, let's put Chimchar to the side. We have one last size person, which is Venusaur, who is humongous. So you can already see the size person. Everybody has Venusaur. Let's get that out of the way. And, and yeah, so I'm saying he's pretty much a small figure, about a good, about a good three inches at most. But let's get into the battle feature figure, shall we? Now to properly get this done, we have to do a certain thing, which is the battle feature. So the battle feature figure, get out of the way me, is supposed to be the uphill. It's like, uh, see that? It's like, it's gonna whip you. That didn't, that, that's very bad. Don't whip yourselves, kids, or don't whip anybody else. Use this on other toys, not on anybody else. You see, because the, the hinge right here turns around the swivel, and then you have this hinge right here, so we're stable, you get all the way back here, and like that. So, first thing we got will be the test dummy. And you will see right here, look how it goes. Yeah. Ow. If you didn't see that broken, or over that cool bit further. And we will go like this. <gasps> you will whip the crap out of you. Oh, yes, sir. Now, let's get to the end of the video. 
Now I would rate this figure from a scale of one to 10 as a good nine because this figure is, well, okay, I take that back to an eight and a half because of the little mark right here on the face that I will get off easily, but still not should be, it should not be there. Anyway, I'll rate this an eight and a half just because this figure is awesome. It's amazing. Everybody wants a Grimstone and it is accurate to the, the character besides the little mark right there. But the battle feature figure works and that's what we look for with the battle feature figures. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like this figure, leave a comment. Well, leave a comment regardless, but leave a like, leave a like regardless anyway. And subscribe for more if you want to see the new up latest figure reviews from Jazzwear and, and most other companies. I think after this, I have to do an Inteleon. So what's going to happen is I'm going to do Inteleon. And then I might take a little break from Jazzwares in order to um, get some other companies out there. But we will always be here with Jazzwares. Anyway, guys, stay safe. Keep training. Be yourself. Keep training, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Hold on. After this, we will have a little word from our sponsors. I'm just kidding. We have no sponsors.